Okay, hello everybody. So it is a little bit of a late start to the day. It is almost 12 o'clock. I am going to go on a hunt today for a space heater that I can use in the camper. So if you can't tell, currently I'm inside a house. I'll explain that in a second. But I have a scarf on, I have a jacket on, I have two layers on, and um, it's, it's fall now. <laughs> I'm currently in the house. Uh, of the family that I nanny for and I also house and dog sit for them and there's their puppy so I'm dog house sitting at the moment and they come back today I have realized now that that it's only going to get colder and if I'm actually going to do this um, I need to be warm. I'm packing up all my things at the moment, just getting their house ready for them um, to come back. Basically, I'm going to go to a Canadian Tire and um, try to find something called, I believe it's Heater Buddy or Space Buddy. Um, I'm going to put a link to it below and a link to um, a video review that I watched about it. I'm trying to determine if it's safe inside small enclosed spaces. And so far what I found is yes. Honestly, um, I'm expecting that it's going to be probably a lot of money, like maybe $100 or $200. And if at this point I'm willing to drop that kind of money on a heater, I think I am. Um, I'm just going to get my paper I'm going to get my towels out of their dryer so that's the one nice thing about house dog sitting for a family that has a house is that they let me fill my water up also do my laundry here so I can um, basically dry my towels which never dry if you live in a van you probably know that So, anyways, we're inside the camper now. It's honestly so much warmer in here than in their house, which is really bizarre. Um, I don't know if they have a heater in their house. They have a fireplace, but it's not hooked up. They only hook it up during the winter. So, anyways, okay, towels. I'm going to put my towels away. Um, yeah, so, the heater thing. I do have a propane heater that is a part of my camper this is just my closet here where I have my toiletries full-length mirror this is my swimsuit oh which is wet I should have dried that anyways <laughs> whatever um and then I just hang my towels here um yeah towels don't really dry when they're in a closed space like this in the summer it was nice I could put them in outside in the sun and they would dry pretty fast so in the camper this is my bed um, I do have this little thing here which is a propane heater however I did try to use it once back in June because it was cold in June and um, it didn't work very well and it's also extremely difficult to start um, with most propane heaters, you have to keep it on um, pilot, and so when you see a flame, and you have to like hold it there until it kind of like warms up and catches, and then you can start the heater. And that is how this one is hypothetically supposed to work. However, I believe it took me like 45 minutes of trying to finally get a flame to stay, and even then, it did not really warm the camper up. Okay, so I haven't made my bed in like two days because I've been house dog sitting. So I'm just going to make my bed now. So I currently have two very uh, thin sheets on my bed. Um, I've never been a huge floofy duvet kind of person, although I do love pillows and blankets. 
but as you can see, my blankets are very thin. There's not a lot to them. Okay, so basically this is my bed made. I do have one really lovely blanket that um, is quite warm. It is this fluffy guy. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not like any special heating blanket. It's just a really nice warm one. Um, however, um, yeah, so I mean, I haven't had any like issues being super cold in here normally with like layers and socks. I'm fine so far. Also, the body heat of another person really helps. If I don't have that though, um, I'm just, yeah, when it gets colder here, it's gonna be cold. So I'm trying to be proactive and not let my stubborn ass get frozen in here. So we're gonna go see if we can find a little heater. I also need to pick up a carbon monoxide um, detector just in case to be sure. Of course, um, I should have one in here already because I have several things I run off of propane, my fridge and my stove. Um, I have a fire or a smoke detector but that doesn't do much in the case of CO, carbon monoxide. Uh, that is the mission today, is to see if I can find a heater that will basically be useful during the colder months. Because unfortunately, summer was basically a month and a half long. <laughs> and uh, welcome to Canada. Come on. Okay, so um, I just took the dog for a walk and the sun's kind of starting to come out now, so um, I'm feeling much warmer. Um, yeah, I have some errands that I have to do downtown and I was going to meet up with a friend. However, I don't think she's going to be ready um, until later than I thought. Anyways, not like it threw my plans off, I have the whole day open. I'm not sure if I want to go try and find this heater first and then go downtown or the other way around. Um, I mean, at this point, gas is just gas. I'm just going to have to spend money on gas because it's not going down. It's still too expensive. So, anyways, um, I think I might go to Canadian Tire first just because I prefer that way than going downtown. Um... Who knows, maybe I'll just dodge downtown today. We'll see. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go try and figure out some more info about these heaters and maybe pick up some, um, not heat blankets, but like the kind of tin foil looking ones, the heat retaining blankets and whatnot, um, and see what I can do for winterizing my camper. <laughs> Okay, so, um, I mean, I think I got everything. It was definitely a pretty penny. <laughs> it came out to like $180, but that's kind of what I was expecting. I got the Mr. Heater Little Buddy, so they have a small, medium, and large size. Um, I could have gone for the medium one. That's what I saw the review on. However, uh, this little one, I opened it up and it looks pretty stable still. Um, they both, actually all of the sizes I believe utilize the like one pound propane, which I got one. It's cheaper to get it in a pack of three. However, I'm going to just test this out and then obviously return it if it's not working 
for me. Um, yeah, so anyways, it kind of looks like this. Maybe I'll show you what it looks like out of the package. I'll set up later on. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> this was, I think, $115. Um, they had one that was cheaper, but it had to go on a 20 pound propane tank and I really don't want to have to carry around that one. Um, and that would take up a lot of space. This one is like quite small and portable. You kind of just attach this inside of it. Um, and it heats up. So anyways, and then, um, obviously very important is I got the carbon monoxide, um, detector and it has a 10 year battery that's actually in it. So I don't have to plug it in. It goes off of the battery. Um, and yeah, actually that was more expensive than what I thought they would be. I kind of thought that it would be like $30 for one, but it was like $50 for any of their like fire smoke detectors and CO2 or CO, um, alarms as well. So that was probably the thing I wasn't expecting to be as expensive, but anyways, um, hopefully this sets me up for fall and winter. We'll see. Um, I'll test this out on a cooler night and then obviously if I don't like it, I will return it, but, um, hopefully it does the trick. I think I might head downtown now. Um, I'm happy that I got this out of the way. I just didn't want to like leave this until the end. So I kind of got my priority finished here and yeah, I might go downtown and see if I can find some food. Okay, so I'm back in the camper. Um, okay, so I haven't really been on here for a minute because I went downtown to do some errands and um, I met up with a friend of mine. We ended up having some lunch and stuff. Anyways, I just drove back to the other town area where I stay most of the time and I reversed into a parking space between two vehicles, which I never do. And I mean, obviously using my mirrors, but I didn't hit anything, which was super, I'm just very impressed with myself. However, I opened my camper to find all of my stuff from my top shelf on the floor and my peanut butter jar or almond butter jar completely open and I got almond butter all over my floor mat. So here it is in the garbage because it's a mess. And to be honest, I, I just, I, <laughs> I have uh, no patience to <laughs> clean a whole bunch of almond butter off of a mat that it's it's no it's not worth it so anyways um i also have a bunch of herbs that spilled um some burdock root i think on the ground and i've got peanut butter or almond butter all over like my refried beans so it looks nasty anyways i believe there's also almond butter on my towel look at that lovely Anyways, um, I'm gonna do my best to try and clean all of this up. I got dinner tonight from a vegan restaurant um, in the city, so I'm gonna get that out on plates. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up, do that. Um, it was a very expensive day. I spent a lot of money, um, but oh well, I guess that happens sometimes. Um, I'll try and check in with you guys a little bit later. So I have the carbon monoxide alarm here. Um, I think it works. I turned <laughs> turned it on and it made a beeping sound. And you can like find, you can test the level, I believe, with this one. So it's telling me zero. So I know that so far I haven't been living in carbon, mono carbon monoxide, which is a good thing. Um, I'm kind of just reading the manual because... It doesn't keep anything on it, and I think that's normal. I think when it's um, on a battery, you just get this green light that flashes every, like, every 60 seconds, it says. I don't know if I'm going to use my heater tonight. That might be for another night when it's colder, because the clouds ended up going away today. It was still raining, but um, the sun came out a little bit, so it shouldn't be too cold tonight. Okay, hello, everybody. This light looks not good for the camera. Okay, um, so <laughs> it is a different day 
I think it's been about two or three days now since I've bought my Mr. Heater, little buddy guy. Um, I have not used him because I haven't been that cold. It is absolutely pissing rain outside right now. And um, I seem to possibly have a leak. I'm not really sure. I'll show you what I mean. So here on my bench at my table, um, I have this curtain all wet on the corner from the window. And that is what it looks like outside right now. It is raining, raining. Now, I'm trying to figure out, it looks like water is coming, oops, water is coming in through this corner, which is really, really bizarre. I don't know what that means. If it's coming through the window, I tried looking on the outside of the camper, but I'm just not sure. Anyways, it has leaked all onto my mat, my blanket's all wet, my mat is wet, and underneath, all this is wet. Like, big time wet. And so I am very confused. Anyways, um, so things are wet in here. I'm trying to dry other things. Mold has started to become a problem. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, my pillow is also all wet that was in that corner there, so I'm going to try and dry that out. Um, anyways, it's cold, it's wet, and I need some heat to dry things and to keep me warm. So we're going to open this up and see how it goes. Everyone, this is literally the beginning of the end. It started. Winter has started. This is basically what winter is like here. Sometimes we get a little bit of snow, but it just rains and rains and rains. So, yay! <laughs> um, all right, let's see. I got my propane. I'm in this huge jacket sweater right now because I'm trying to stay warm. Two layers of sweater. Uh, anyways, let's open this up. Pretty simple concept. You just have a little base that it stands on. You put your propane in there, and then uh, this heavy duty bit kind of screws onto the propane like this, and that's your heater. Kind of looks like the Pixar dude. I have my carbon monoxide uh, detector here, so. Anyways, I think it's always working, but it tells me right now my level's at zero, so, so far so good. Oh, okay, so there's basically this on button which you push and hold to start the pilot light, and then once it's going, you just release. It doesn't really have settings like the other ones, and then it just has an off button, so let's see. I'm going to open a window, just obviously to be safe. Um, this is what it looks like standing up. Um, you have base, propane tank, heater part, and um, let's give this a shot. Okay, the flame started. You probably can't see anything. Uh, okay. So. Like, this is like the weirdest thing. It's definitely giving off some heat. Uh, check the carbon monoxide. It says zero, so. So far, so good. Um, anyways, you can see it there, the flame. And it like has a little bubble giving off a little bit of heat a little update um this thing so far is working amazing like obviously my space is very small but it's such a comfortable temperature in here like you're definitely not suffering in the cold this thing is doing great there's uh no reading on the carbon monoxide i don't know okay there we go 
uh, on the reader. I'm keeping that right there. Um, trying to get my pillow dry. I need to go outside and figure out what's going on with this leak because something is not right from the outside and I don't know, I might have to just glue stuff. I don't even know. We're going to take a look, but so far I'm super happy with this and uh, yeah, it's working great. Okay, so my heater thing is working great. It's doing awesome. I'm actually going to turn it off right now. Oh, easy as that. Just a little button and it's done. Um, it gave off a really good amount of heat. Uh, no reading on my carbon monoxide detector. Uh, however, I went outside to try and see where the leak is coming from. And there's like three places that I think it could be coming from. It is kind of just steady streaming um, on the inside of the camper here. And I think we're supposed to have rain <laughs> for like a week. So um, I have this stuff, uh, Mono Ultra Bath and Kitchen. It's like a grout, I believe. I'm going to try to do something with this on the exterior as well as the interior. However, you have to have a completely dry surface um, for this to work. And at this point, like, I can't do anything um, besides keep this out of the way of the water. And then basically I think water is coming in all along here sorry all along here but then it just like pours out of this corner this is going to be a learning experience um anyways i think this fog is going to be like really really long so i'm going to cut it off now um hopefully i can update you in the future with how everything goes but yeah this was not how i was planning my evening i had a whole lot of other things that i wanted to get done and accomplish but uh this is how it goes <laughs> i guess this is living in a camper or a van for you i woke up this morning so thankful that this skylight didn't have any leaks and knock on wood that um it stays that way however this this little leak is not looking fun so anyways uh let's all just Pray that the rain stops for like two days <laughs> and then hopefully I can figure this out. Oh goodness. Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.